leader, third party. Happy Valentine's Day to the House here today. <laughs> Honourable Speaker, the recent Fu versus Zhu BC Supreme Court case concerning the purchase of multi million dollar homes in Vancouver outlined questionable immigration tax and real estate schemes occurring right here under our noses. The judgment states one of the parties, and I quote, was sophisticated in lying, including scheming to deceive Canadian immigration authorities, end quote. Another claimed just $97.11 in worldwide income despite owning multi-million dollar properties and one of China's largest manufacturing and distributing, distribution companies. That the parties had no problem outing, outlining so many questionable activities before our courts shows how little regard these individuals had for our laws. This government, Honourable Speaker, committed to crack down on fraud, tax evasion and money laundering in our markets. And the Civil Forfeiture Act allows properties to be seized that are linked to unlawful activities. My question, Honourable Speaker, through you to the Minister of Public Sa Safety and Solicitor General is this. Why aren't we using civil forfeiture or a similar tool in cases like this one? Minister of Finance. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Honourable Speaker, and thank you to the member, uh, to the leader of the third party uh, for the question. Just on the very specific issue of, of civil forfeiture, I just want to make it clear that the government doesn't direct civil forfeiture um, procedures, that under the Act, the Civil Forfeiture Office has no independent investigative or seizure powers. It's really up to the police who make the determination around investigation, uh, around priorities, and then they refer the assets that are seized under criminal law as they deem appropriate. Uh, but on the bigger question and the bigger issue that the member raised around the issue of fraud, around speculation, uh, the issue of uh, the use of loopholes to avoid taxes, um, we are very concerned as a government about that direction. That's why we took action in our very first update in September um, to close loopholes, to act on gathering and sharing information that's needed for enforcement. First steps, uh, as you heard from the throne speech yesterday, there will be more to come in the budget uh, and stay tuned. Lead a third party on a supplemental. Uh, thank you, Honourable Speaker. Honourable Speaker, even if we can't use civil forfeiture in cases like this, there's an urgent need to address this problem. The current Attorney General, Honourable Speaker, has called BC, and I quote, a jurisdiction where the rules do not apply to white collar crime, fraud, tax evasion, and money laundering, where even if the rules do apply, enforcement is absent, end quote. In opposition, Honourable Speaker, the, the now government spoke strongly about this challenge and the urgent need for action. My question again is to the Minister of Public Safety and Solicitor General, or perhaps the Minister of Finance, if government isn't going to use civil forfeitures for, for a tool for enforcement in cases like this, what immediate steps are you taking to ensure that the rules, in fact, do apply to tax evasion and fraud and that we have adequate enforcement to deal with those who break these rules? Minister of Finance. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. And, and to the member, uh, six more days until the budget. Uh, heads out, you will see some very specific actions uh, contained in the budget. They were talked a little bit about in the throne speech, uh, but there will be a comprehensive plan. It will include uh, action to be able to deal and with the approach um, around speculation, to deal with the uh, evasion of taxes. Uh, those are critical pieces. We have a table right now with the federal government that we are uh, bringing those issues to because this is an issue that doesn't simply impact British Columbia. It, in fact, impacts across Canada. So we need to make sure that the enforcement happens here in our province and also happens across the country. Uh, so we were working on those pieces and, uh, and you'll see more details in the budget. 